Staffer plays City Skylines 2. Here's the person who we followed before in their hatchback. Uh, let's stop following this car. Alright, so we're trying to get to our next milestone so that I can finally build the central bank. So, what I think I'm going to do is develop this area over here, going this way, um, as we wait for that to be available over there. So, let's see what my options are over here. So we've got, we've got Elm Street over here. Um, maybe what I want to do is change how this connects, but first, let's see. So if we were to grab Elm Street and just go that way, we could not. We could go there. Alright, so what if we do that? And that looks like a huge mess. So, let's go to our old friend, the traffic circle. Uh, which is giving us a little bit of trouble here. Little bitty one, teeny tiny one. All right, so we're gonna have to do some bulldozing, so we'll do that and that. If we were to put a circle there. All right, let's see what options we have. So highway-wise, this one's coming this way, and that one's going that way. Okay, so in, let's see what are our connection points. If we go from there to there, okay. If we go from here. Uh, all right, what if we go? Are we crossing? Because that beats the purpose. All right, so. All right, let's back up one more. Alright, so maybe just do like a tight circle here. Let's see what makes sense. Um, okay, first of all, that should be that. Um, we've got two coming in here. Got one. Yeah, that's better. That should probably also just be one. Okay, so now what if we... Try go from here out. And connect into there. Okay. Alright, I think that will I think that looks decent. My headphones do not have any sound coming out of the left. That's annoying. Hmm. That's a bummer. These were not that cheap. Okay. Well, let's continue. Hmm. So let's have this guy continue along the river and kind of go up this way. Or, no, I guess he wouldn't really go up that way, would he? We still can go this way. Um, all right. I do think, however, we're going to abandon our one-way thing because we're going to be going in different directions and it's going to get a little complicated. All right, let's see.
All right. So we're on the other side of the highway now. Oops. All right. And let's see, we've got the train tracks here, but they're elevated, so we can go underneath. All right, let's have this road. What was it? What kind of road was this here? It was just a simple two lane, it looks like. Um, looks like we can potentially go way back here, so perhaps this makes more sense as a four lane. It fits back here. We'll go up like that and all the way across. All right, so we had, see, so we have a train station over here. Probably maybe another one over here somewhere makes sense. So, oh, before I forget, let's have another way across. See if that helps traffic at all. Let's see, where do we have a spot where we can come? Looks like about here would probably be the best spot. Let's see. Something lined up with him. of some pathways temporarily. Okay. Eh, may as well connect this alleyway. Uh, but I don't want this to be signalized because almost no one should be coming here. <coughs> if they ever change this so I can have just stop sign on this side or something, I definitely would do something like that. Alright, um... You know what, we'll let people kind of go here, across in that way, that's fine. Um... Okay, we've made that connection. Maybe allow some people to not depend on some of these other spots that kept getting heavy traffic. Alright. So if we come back over here. <laughs> Alright, this street doesn't make sense to keep going. Um so we will we'll connect this one up here. Oh that's not even that's a pedestrian road anyway. So let's grab Freeway up and connect up here. All right, looks like we have a need for pretty much everything. Let's start off with density housing. There. Do parking. You know what, we'll do one more there, because we seem to have a huge need for parking. <laughs> Alright, we're going to do low rent housing right here. And regular housing right here. I don't want anything back here, maybe just some trees.
Okay. The bush is done. And trees over here. Still have a pretty high demand. Let's go European style for here and here. In between, let's have some row houses. Maybe we'll do one of those there. <laughs> All right, let's um. Trees, I think this. All right, that going. This is Second Moon with J. Thomas Hornbuckle. Before we dive into our next selection, I'd like to take a few <laughs> memento moments to elaborate on the formal structure of the symphonic work. For our right. newer, less able listeners, first, we will be dancing through the al dente <laughs> section before entering the slower Largo movement, finally, then savoring the vivacious... Right, back here, I'm going to have... Movement. So, without further ado, yes. let's raise the curtain and begin. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's Back right. here we'll have row houses. All good news. <coughs> We're joined today by an expert guest, Professor Nutbutter. Welcome, Professor. So, a housing shortage is bad for the people trying to move here, right? Humans are programmed to All right, so let's make this area back here. Presentations within ideological reward structures, which are entirely apart from the actual rewards enjoyed. For example, consider capital. One, right, well, one final question, Professor. Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? By certain metrics, perhaps yes, in the short term. I like the sound of that. But what we are discussing is the study of a statistical abstraction and its effect on the human Thank psyche. you, Professor. It is a question of priorities. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area yeah. is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy... Right, I'm going to put some commercial back here. So my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. All right. And maybe here and here. Get some offices up. Okay. Then as we move back here, I want to move to, um, to apartments and get a uh, parking lot or two in here. Uh, and some park amenities. Let's see. Basketball. No, it? That's not basketball. Tennis. Basketball. Ski park right there. Dog park. Over right here. And a playground. Right there. All right, so now let's do this. Okay, ooh, we got Corundum Condos, nice. Grab that guy. A little 
too big, a little too big. Get out here. All right. Put it like right there. Very cool. Let's see, in North America mode, we still have a bunch of these locked up. All right, I'm not gonna worry about that just yet. Let's see here. Let's get some low rent housing right there. I'm gonna keep continue with apartments here. I think here we would have, all right, I wanna separate these kind of like there and there with a regular apartment building in between and we will do the opposite here okay can we get like one row house here that'd be really funny we can okay cool um and then over here I'm gonna have another one of these commercial ones awesome awesome all right let's switch back to north american style for this side over here <laughs> let's see definitely want one here maybe some row houses on this side maybe one on this side um do some low rent housing here and over here let's do one of these guys we'll let it be a big one if it wants to be Another one here. Okay, awesome, awesome. And maybe one here, but not too close to the traffic circle. Maybe we'll do a small parking lot right here. All right, and then finally, along the railroad tracks here, I think we're gonna allow some row housing. And then let's get some trees going. All right, it's going to look interesting when it once it springs up. should have broken this up a little bit more so I'm gonna do it with paths let's do paths so sorry to some of you guys but we're gonna destroy you some pads over here that messed up electricity somehow What is happening here? Okay. Okay. Let's keep this going and this time not screw up so much with the uh What's this here? Do a plaza here. Just kidding, a small plaza. Okay. What if people could walk over there? Yeah, this might look kind of cool.
Okay. And on this side. I think I'm going to get rid of that second crossing, though. There we go. All right, cool. So, back over here. Let's see. Definitely want to... If we can come up with this road up here. Let's do our next block. Let's see, we'll go to... This is an emergency broadcast to all citizens. Increasing areas of forest are being engulfed by flames. The thick smoke rising from the fire makes the air dangerous to breathe. Citizens are advised to vacate any... Don't see where the fire is. Fires ...and remain at a safe distance until emergency services manage to get the fires under control. Alright, <clears throat> let's go up with our pathways here. <laughs> Some green species. So this also be um, these guys. Although, you know what? Let me call a mulligan right here. Where I want people to be able to get across there. There we go. Why that pissed everybody off, I don't know, but it goes. I can't have a crosswalk right in front of my house, that's BS. <laughs> Alright, so these folks can come that way. Alright, let's see what we got going on here, okay, alright. Alright, I think we have a nice variety, it's not like... Buildings stacked on buildings stacked on buildings. So, let's see. Let's get a parking lot in here. Let's see. Maybe one on this side. And maybe one more here. Right, I'm going to continue the idea of row houses back here. All right, let's get apartments here. Let's get low rent housing here. Oh, no need for high density at the moment. So that's gonna stay how it is for now. All right, well, next to it, we'll put an apartment. Um, over here, I'm going to have 
office building. Or at least we'll zone it for office buildings. They may or may not decide to be there. Oh, you know what? Actually, let's just do regular commercial. There you go. All right, we'll commercial here on this pathway. Small one here. A driving advisor has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. You're tuned in to Second Moon, the channel where the classics never grow old. Interesting news from the city's export division. Sources tell us that our city has more services than we know what to do with. And you know what that means, folks. It means we're not cutting things close enough. You know what? Well, Just for funsies, we'll have like one small house there. And bringing money into local That's economy. right. You could almost say it's too much of a good thing. Or we could say that we're enjoying a positive trade balance and the economy is booming. More after this. Industry in the region is on the rise, and when business is doing well, that floats our boat. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. Okay. One here. Have some row houses right there. I'm gonna put a small office there. Eventually, does that makes sense. Yeah, I think it does. Um, then down here, I'm gonna have some housing across the street from them. I think we'll make. Let's see how close we're getting close to here again. I'm gonna zone this for high density housing, and it'll come when it's ready. Um. Here. Continue with these. Then on this side, we'll do these guys. Okay. Excellent. Lots of construction going up. I think we need some trees in here. about done with this area. See if we can finish this off here.
All right. <sighs> Some commercial in here. City housing here. And we'll throw some low rent here. It'll fill in when it fills in. Alright. Let's see if we can get Kent Street connected to our what we've got going on here. make it up to here. There we go. Perfect. All right. I'll let there be some offices here. Crematorium is not doing any work. Medical clinic. Parking lot's almost full. Firehouse here. Cool. Not that many people. Okay. Duties here. You want to take them? Very good. I think this area is going to stay just uh, an area that's uh, the city's domain for now. And probably maybe forever. We'll see. I mean, it might make sense to change this into a road. getting close to where we're going to want to start connecting to uh, Elm Street. <laughs> Not quite there yet, but we're getting close. Alright, let's take a little tour here our new area here's the pedestrian bridge I made maybe we'll maybe we'll start around here oh there's a fountain okay I was like what's that water the row houses I built. Many different colors of their awnings there. With a train right behind them. No trains coming at the moment. An, intersec an intersection here where there's a crosswalk? You know what? I guess as long as it's only active when the citizens push it, that'll be fine. People will have solar power on their... Going into the area I was just working on here. Like we still have a lot of construction going. Some of the buildings have come up already. Here's the... Um, the apartment uh, that we got. Some cool little lions here. 
Brass lions and frogs, yeah. <laughs> Almost meat. I like that. Let's go down this road here. Got a little playground here. Next to this apartment complex. Somebody riding their bike down the street, or motorcycle, I guess. So we do have some vacant land here. Don't know. It just hasn't zoned up yet. Or if uh, it's just an area I need to eventually fill with trees. Got some parking here. More parking over here. Making sure we have lots of parking since these tend to get filled up. Got a bit of a skyline there. I think I'll maybe take a picture here like this. Alright, this has been Eric playing City Skylines 2. I will see you next time. Goodbye.